accessibility, but using easy to read language and easy to understand language to make audio, audiovisual content easy to understand. It's to, this is totally new for us. This is a new approach. But we strongly believe that our member and of course other e, uh, others will have uh, easy to understand audiovisual content would be very very help, helpful. And as I said, this is of course the end users we're working for. With this, I will stop. As I said, we have a tight schedule. So I hope you will enjoy and you will learn from the speakers, but also from each other. I know I certainly will today. So once again, most welcome, all of you. And uh, I hand over to you, yes. Esther. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Can we just run through the agenda for today? Oh, this is cool, or is it your? It's mine. No, it's yours. Okay, so uh, we will start with the presentation of the EC project, uh, uh, an overview, and that is Tatiana who will do that. And we will start just after uh, me running through the, the project. After that, Osa Reynilin, uh, she's also a member of the board, the advisory board of ESIT. She's a professor and, uh, from Gothenburg, and she will be talking about easy to read and plain language. Can we learn anything from the yes, research? It's very difficult to hear what you say. It is easy yeah. like that? Okay. So Osa Reynilin, uh, she's a member of the advisory board of uh, ESIT, and she will be uh, talking about easy to read and plain language. Can we learn anything from linguistic research? Uh, and after that, uh, we will have a good practice from Malmö with Mikael Hellman, and he will talk about making audiovisual content accessible for all. Uh, then after that, we had a half an hour break with coffee and sandwich out there. And uh, you can talk to each other and have a nice time, I hope. Uh, and we continue uh, 10 15, and then Stefan Johansson and I will talk about the product that we have been working with for almost three years. Uh, the one that Olaf talked about too. The result from ESO is it the intellectual output too? Uh, Rosillo will be presenting them. Well, uh, 10.45, quarter to, quarter to 11, and 11, 11 to quarter past 11, uh, there will be Jesus, where are you? There, we're presenting uh, research from, uh, or, uh, yeah, research from iOS 3. And we will have a discussion which will be chaired by Dr. Elizabeth Pereco from Dresden. And that will be 11.15 to 11.45. And the closing remarks will be done by uh, the product manager or the coordinator of this project, Anna Matamala from, from Spain. And that will be 11.45. And we will try to stop at 12 o'clock. So most welcome. Uh, there you can find a bathroom resource out just in the corridor there. And as we are in Sweden and we are working with end users, if you feel that your legs are really, I don't know, <laughs> so please, you can, you can move around, but mind for the cameras. So we are taking pictures and we are streaming on Facebook, and it's really good if you can share that, uh, the link to the Facebook, to your friends. Uh, before leaving, we will ask you to fill in a, a satisfactory survey too. And I printed the wrong version, so it would say SDI in Germany on the one. That is wrong, but they are, are changing it. So you will have uh, a paper handed out during the coffee break, and then you can fill it in. Mm. That's really, very, really happy if you can do that. Um, this was a good video recording, and you will also, if you, are, uh, if you like, you will have a, a certificate of uh, attendance, which we also ha hand out afterwards. When you give us this, the satisfactory survey, we give the satisfactory of attendance. And if you are writing on social media, please use these hashtags the Easy Project, Erasmus Plus, and Sepiecop. So, 
I will say welcome to Tatiana.